Welcome to The Gavel, your weekly Denver City Council wrap-up. Here's what happened this week. On Monday, April 17th, the Budget and Policy Committee heard a presentation from the Department of Transportation and Infrastructure about the 2023 work plan. The agency outlined projects, challenges, and operations happening throughout the city this year. Some of the bigger plans for the year include constructing about 300 miles of sidewalks, continuing the 16th Street Mall reconstruction, expanding the Colorado Convention Center, and moving forward with the East Colfax Bus Rapid Transit. The department has faced some challenges in the past few years. The most pressing issues are inflation, hiring and retention, and increasing expectations of service, all of which have strained the department's ability to deliver services since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. On Tuesday, April 18th, the Land Use Transportation and Infrastructure Committee was presented with a plan to accelerate affordable housing in the region. The amendments plan to address the delays the city planning and development has seen in improving site development plans and large development reviews. Although delays can vary across project coordinators, data pulled in mid-February saw a median delay of 29 days. In response, CPD is recommending giving projects additional time to receive approval. In addition to extending deadlines, city planning and development is taking other steps to reduce backlog and review cycles. Workload rebalancing, focused review weeks, comment analysis for projects taking three or more review cycles, and a project report with the Affordable Housing Review Team are steps the agency is taking to move projects forward. As of June 30th, 2022, there were 746 site development plans under review. This does not change the number of projects we are talking about, does not change um, any of the requirements for anything after submitted to us after July 1st. Those required to follow expanding housing affordability. This is only for those that were in the process and follow the requirements we laid out. The ordinance amendments will move on to the full city council for a first reading on May 1st. On Wednesday, April 19th, the Safety, Housing, Education and Homelessness Committee heard potential changes to the Prosperity Denver Fund. The nonprofit provides financial assistance and scholarships to Denver College students. Over $20 million has been distributed over 7,500 scholarships. This program is a public-private partnership. My organization distributes the sales tax dollars to a growing network of community partners called supported organizations who serve more than 1,800 Denver students per year, of which 90% identify as students of color, and more than 80% are the first in their family to go to post-secondary. We are proud of these accomplishments so far, which covers four academic years. The request to amend the ordinance aims to help relieve some problems found with the fund. Currently, about two thirds of the money received is not spent. The new plan will reallocate the money. Students over the age of 25 aren't covered. New age requirements would be up to the age of 30. Residency requirements have also been found to be a barrier to receiving a scholarship. If passed by City Council, the maximum residency requirement would be six months. Other changes include money for career development and apprenticeships. I consider these important changes to make sure we're using these taxpayer dollars now to be doing secondary education, post-secondary education, be it college, be it certificate, be it apprenticeship. That is critical. Our youth deserve these dollars to be funding them now. This item will hold a public hearing at the full city council on May 15th. Also this week, city council has approved an additional $720,000 for a total of $1.2 million to purchase reusable bags for distribution to Denver residents. The Finance and Governance Committee sent to the full City Council a purchase and sale agreement for $3.5 million to purchase buildings to support a theater and library on the Loretto Heights campus in Council District 2. Want more information on City Council, including weekly schedules and agendas? Visit denvergov.org backslash city council. Denver City Council meets every Monday at 3.30 at the City and County Building, Council Chambers, or tune in live on Denver Aider Zoom. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube for Denver news, events, and information.